Welcome back to The Great Expanse by John Bat 426 here on YouTube. Marvel D23 is underway. It began on September 9th and it goes to September 11th. There's been a lot of speculation of what's going to come out. So I read the schedule and the schedule looked boring. It did. I'm like, okay, who want to talk to these visual effects artists? We want news. We want announcements. Like, come on. Stop with the, stop with the silliness. All right. So we got news. Dun, 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 dun. According to Deadline, that's the uh, website, the article to be credited to, where's his or her name? Matt Grobar, or Grober. Thunderbolts. And this is one of the, uh, the series that's coming out for Phase 5 that I was like, hmm. And I kind of briefly talked about the Dark Reign storyline with Norman Osborn, the Cabal, consisted of Osborn himself, Namor, Doctor Doom, Emma Frost, Loki, in the uh, female form of Loki, and the Hood. Uh, here's the here's the, uh, the headline: Thunderbolts. David Harbor, who we know as Jim Hopper from Stranger Things, he played Taskmaster in the Black Widow movie that I lost interest in early on. Florence Pugh. Julia Louis Dreyfus, come on, Elaine Venice from Seinfeld, and she was also in uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier. She she's called the Contessa. Okay. Sebastian Stan, that's the Winter Soldier. Wyatt Russell, Chinny. <laughs> he played a U.S. agent, John Clark, I think was his name, and others. Board Marvel film according to D23. Marvel Studios president Kevin Feige introduced the leads for the studio's upcoming film, it was not a series, Thunderbolts at Disney D23 Expo Friday, that was yesterday, including the names I just mentioned, uh, and here's two names I didn't mention that weren't on the headline, Hannah John Kamen and Olga Korolenko. Harbor, Pew, and Korolenko are reprising their respective Black Widow roles as Alexi, Red Guardian, Yelena Belova, and Black Antonia, Taskmaster with Louis Dreyfus as Valentina Allegra de Fontaine. That was a pretty long name. <laughs> and that rhymes sort of. Stan returns to the Marvel fold as the Falcon and the Winter Soldier's Bucky Barnes, with his co-star Russell returning as John Walker, U.S. agent. Then there's John Kamen, who will portray Ava Ghost. I believe she was in Ant-Man and the Wasp. The Jake Schreier-directed film will close out Phase 5 of the MCU on July 26th. 2024. Deadline had previously reported Pew Russell and Stan as likely castings. Plot details are scarce, but Thunderbolts revolves around a group of villains who are sent on missions commissioned by the government. And here's a tweet of the picture. We're not going to do that. The project, going into production early next year, was first unveiled at Comic Con in July. Disney D23 Expo 2022 Photo Gallery, Marvel, Star Wars, and more. The film, understood as the MCU's version of Suicide Squad, is based on characters first introduced to Marvel Comics in 1997. Eric Pearson, Black Widow, is writing the script with Feige producing. Feige, I believe he also executive produced She-Hawk Attorney at Law, so that is a minus in your category, sir. D23 Deadlines, full coverage, Phase 5 of the MCU opens with Ant-Man, we know this already. Uh, oh, there's a phase six notice that I'm not going to go into. I'm going to do a whole video on it. And now, stop doing that. Page unresponsive. Why now? Why? There we go. <laughs> Sounded like Nancy Kerrigan after being injured by Galuli. Phase 5 of the MCU opens with Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, which is slated for release on... I hate these websites where stuff just jumps up and down. Following the release of Thunderbolts, Phase so I'm sorry, I read too much. Move. Take this off. There will be a Marvel Phase 6 video coming soon. I just saw two sneak peeks of what's coming. Yes. But anyway... Uh, am I going to see Thunderbolts in the theaters? I think I might. Sebastian Stan's going to be in it as the Winter Soldier. And the Winter Soldier, Captain America, the Winter Soldier, is my second favorite Marvel movie. The first one being Iron Man from 2008. Okay. 
Okay, so those are my two favorite Marvel movies. Iron Man and the Winter, Captain America The Winter Soldier. Anything Sebastian Stan is in as a Winter Soldier, I'm there for. You know what I mean? Uh, the other people, I'm not too sure about, but I, I really like Wyatt Russell's John Clark, U.S. Agent, and Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Um, as I said, I couldn't finish Black Widow. Maybe that'll give me a reason to finish it now. Maybe. But no guarantees there. There might just be another popcorn moment. That's it? Nope. Doesn't look like it's gonna be with the same uh, weight as the Dark Rain storyline, but that was a comic book. This is live action. So obviously it can't be the same, you know? Uh, I'm, I'm very close to saying I'm definitely gonna check this out in the movie theaters. It looks like it might be better suited for a series. Just to be honest, like I don't really know if this cast can really like headline a big budget Marvel film. I'm just not sure. Now, if Sebastian Stan is number one up there, you know, on the uh, the headline, or whatever they call it, maybe. But this looks better suited for a series. But if it's just going to be a movie, um, I definitely want to see it, but I don't know if I'm going to be here there on the very first day. So this has been The Great Expanse by John Bat 426 If you liked the video, please share it. If you enjoy what I do here or try to do for you guys, I hope you subscribe so that when new videos are released, you will know about it second and I will know about it first if you hit that bell all for notifications. And I look forward to seeing you for our next video. Peace.